Hi friends, it's Nirmal from Nandanam Exotics and today's episode is not our usual plant video. We are going into the wild and seeing some awesome shots, some beautiful plants and some insects that I got on the way. So I hope I welcome all of you to this journey with me. Let's start things off with this beautiful couple of Mormon butterflies that were kind enough to pause for the camera. So friends, today's video won't be any tutorial or a garden related video. It will be just a beautiful sights that I saw in the nooks and corners of nature that I explored. Hope you guys enjoy. By the way guys, full disclosure, this cute or fancy little thing that you're seeing right now is not something that I saw in this stroll in nature. This guy was munching off my lotus leaves and I just took him from away from the lotus and took some videos. Isn't he so fancy? I don't think I have seen a fancier caterpillar. This is a wild fig tree. I think, I'm still not sure and I don't think it is edible also and I'm also not willing to risk it by trying. Anyways, it was unusual and I thought of taking some clips. What you guys are seeing right now is the amount of biodiversity I found just on the bark of a coconut tree. Isn't Mother Nature wonderful? So friends, if you're enjoying my content, do consider subscribing to the channel. Also press the bell notification button so that you will be notified whenever I post new videos. So we'll continue with the video now. I have also included interesting looking mushrooms and fungi that I found around our vicinity. This particular one is actually growing from the decomposing root zone of a previously cut tree. Unlike mushrooms that are delicate, this guy was pretty tough to the touch and was very sturdy. Okay guys, don't get freaked out. This guy is really alive and is a caterpillar. It's the caterpillar or the pupa form of a hawk moth. I think that's what I got from Google. It's very weird looking and it looks literally like a Pokemon from my childhood days. Seriously. Is it just me or is anyone feeling like this looks like a cartoon? Those eyes, the pattern, the color, it's all weird but really fascinating. This is another mushroom or fungi that I came across. I have no idea of its ID. So any experts watching this video do comment below about the ID of this particular fungi. I love spotting a fungi or mushroom whenever I go for such nature strolls. It's very unpredictable and you never know what will welcome you each time you do this.
there's a lot of wild crepe gingers or costa plants that have naturalized in the yard i love the flowers the flowers are very delicate white and the plant itself is very interesting because they have a helical spiral structure to the leaf arrangement i'll be soon doing a video on this particular species because they are very well adapted for gardens and can be used as an ornamental plant in your garden so stay tuned for that video This is Mimosa pudica or touch me not plant. I think only few people don't know about this plant. It's that famous and this is considered to be a weed in Kerala. It very easily and naturally grows in the climate and also reseeds and emerges back every year. This cute little mushroom was growing from concrete compound wall which really fascinated me. I still don't know its ID. I tried googling it but I was unsuccessful. If you guys out there know the name of this mushroom, you can please comment it down below. So in these nature related videos I have decided to showcase at least one medicinal plant per episode. So today we will be featuring Indian stinking nettle plant or scientifically called Tragia involucrata. It is a twining herb that is traditionally used for fever, itching, bronchitis, skin diseases and occasionally for baldness as well. Interestingly, this herb belongs to Euphorbiaceae and the entire plant is covered with a small stinging hair-like structures that could cause itching. In Malayalam, it is known by the name Cherugodituva. This is a close-up of the bud that has not even started blooming of a crepe ginger that we saw earlier. It's such a beautiful plant. Moss is another major attraction in Kerala forest or vegetation and anywhere you look during the monsoon season you can find very emerald green moss covering all sorts of surfaces. Here I have found a very interesting formation on clay soil because of the effects of rain as well as moss covering on top of it. You can see a very cute formation of moss here. Usually they are found on concrete walls and flat surfaces with high grip. But here I have found them on soil. It's really beautiful. I really wish that I could uh, duplicate this effect inside a terrarium. 
It's so beautiful. So friends, we are back to the caterpillars and I am using this time to remind you guys that those of who enjoy a butterfly in their garden should always keep in mind that they should not kill or totally decimate caterpillars whenever they see them chewing on their plants. I also am guilty because I have also killed my fair share of caterpillars but it's a realization that I got that if you want butterflies in your garden you should obviously let the caterpillars live right. For instance just look at this guy. Can he get more fancier than this? I can't even describe how many features he have. And this on the other hand is weird as it can get. So fellow nature lovers out there, I request you all to not kill or harm these poor creatures unless it's a major infestation and it's totally destroying your plant. Coming back to this beautiful plant, my childhood memories are soaked with instances where we try to touch the plant, fascinatingly look at how the leaves fold and close in front of our eyes. But also, a word of caution, and this is coming from experience, the plant is full of thorns and can easily prickle you, so be careful. Guys, look at what I found next. It's a common pest that affects bananas. They suck out the moisture and juices from the banana leaf. I'm not going to embarrass myself by trying to pronounce the name of this bug. I leave that to the experts. So friends, the major aim of this video was to showcase what all amazing things you can find just by strolling around the local vegetation. So friends, I would urge all my followers to go outside and um, take a look at what is going on in nature, all the wonderful sights that awaits you. But always be very careful. Another fungi or mushroom that is growing out of a dead log of coconut tree. So guys, I finally decided to conclude the video. I know it's very long, but there were very beautiful visuals that I had to show you guys. So friends, if you like this video, do consider giving a like. Also, subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. Also, let me know what all weird and beautiful things you can find from your local vegetation. So friends, today's video is totally different from my usual videos and it's more of a appreciation for nature than a gardening video. I hope you guys enjoyed the journey and it was informative to you.